Hey guys, it's Dan, and this is a question I got from a reader. Where can you find clients as a Python freelancer? So super important questions for anyone who's trying to make some money off their Python programming skills. Um, there are a couple of options that have worked for me in the past, and I've seen work for other people. Um, so if you want some very you know actionable stuff, we can just go out and apply that strategy. I would do two things. So I would uh, create an Upwork profile just, you know, put your skills out there, offer your work, and then make a point of every day reaching out to people on that platform um, where, where people are looking for some Python help or some, you know, web scraping tasks, a data transformation tasks. And you can just offer your help to people on that platform. This is not usually not going to pay, you know, a super high hourly rate there um, just because there's a lot of um, a lot of talent on the platform but this can be a great way just to build your your experience and build your portfolio and actually make some money doing that another option that you can do and this is um, I call this prospecting so what you want to do is like you want to search Craigslist and search some job boards and just email out you know, offers to people that you find there. If someone's looking, you know, to have a website built or to have some kind of app built, email them and say, hey, I'm a developer. Um, here's my portfolio. This is, highlights the importance of having a portfolio out there. And um, just get in touch with them and offer your services. Now, you know, this is... A totally a numbers game if you do it like that this is um this is also where kind of the really crappy clients are you know this is usually not like very um sort of high value and and uh, the best clients um you're, you're gonna have a hard time finding the best clients on these platforms and doing these strategies but it's something that you can do almost mechanically right like have a little template and just email as many people as you can and eventually you're gonna see some results and this is very important especially initially if you don't have the network and if, if you don't have the previous clients that you worked with, they're going to bring you repeat business. So this is a, a good way to get started. Um, another thing you can do, you can post your um, your your abilities or kind of uh, make a posting on sites like Hacker News or Reddit forums where you can just say, hey, I'm a developer for hire. These, is, these are the skills that I offer. These are my areas of specialization. Um, and just get inbound email from people that potentially want to hire you. Again, this is usually not going to lead to the highest quality of clients, but it's just something you can do. And this is something you can use to attract clients. So really the best way to find clients that are high value, that are great to work with, is by building personal relationships, right? And um, in order to do that, you always want to bring some value up front. So if you're trying to meet a new person and kind of convince them that you've got what it takes to get the job done, you need to show them that you've done this in the past and you know what you're talking about. So really, this is more a long term game. And this is why I'm sort of balancing it with, you know, these are some things you can do very, very directly, very quickly versus um more of the long-term kind of like strategy things that you want to do. And here it's it's all about building up your, your expertise and also um, your authority in a way as an expert Python developer. And for that, you definitely want to have a portfolio. You want to put yourself out there, see if you can, uh, you know, submit a uh, conference presentation, speak at a conference. And I've got some videos on that that show you how to do that and how this has worked for me in the past. Um, you want to build your network by actually shipping projects for people, you know, working for people and um, just have that personal network where people can say, hey, this person is a great programmer. And if they hear something in their in their surrounding, in their network, they're going to refer you that work. So it's all about the referrals, I think, in terms of the really high quality um, work. And this is how I found my best clients. Um, Another avenue, you know, if you, you can take that kind of authority expertise building very far and start um, a blog, start a, start a website and talk about um, what what you can do by teaching others how to do it. And really, this is this is going to open up a whole nother level where people can see that you've got the skills that it takes and you're you feel comfortable teaching other people this stuff. And um, that for me has made a huge difference just in, in the amount of inbound that I get in terms of, you know, job offers or, uh, you know, hey, do you want to be my co-founder and stuff like that. So that is really a long term game. And uh, I would encourage you to get into it because it, it's very rewarding. It's a lot of fun. You can help a lot of people and then also have a source of, uh, of freelance work by doing that. But this is going to take 
a long time to build that momentum and to build that recognition, right? So this is why I want to balance it with having some actionable strategies that you can apply and some things that are really more like the long term, um, long term strategies and long term things that you want to do and that you kind of want to chip away at. So so yeah, these are some tips and what you can do to find work as a freelance Python developer. If this question helped you out, then leave a comment below and I'll tackle your question in one of my next videos.